Rising Mississippi River has forced some Wisconsinites to seek dry ground. NBC 15's Marcus Arsvald is in Grant County tonight, and he spoke with residents who hope the flooding remains at bay. Never dreamt that I would have flooding here. Jeannie Morgan is new to Bagley, Wisconsin. She moved to the Grant County campground last October to be closer to family and fish with her grandkids on the mighty Mississippi come spring. Instead, they're spending days sandbagging to keep flooding at bay. We had to redo the back today because the water pushed over our stack. So we had to go back this morning in the sleet and rain and rebag in the back. As of now, the water has not yet gotten inside her home. You can see behind me, the water has just started reaching the outermost layer of sandbags. She says she feels comfortable staying here tonight, but if it gets any higher, her daughter says tomorrow night, she'll have to stay at her home across the train tracks. Well, I don't want to leave, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to. Morgan says she's lucky to have family around to help her even in crazy Wisconsin weather. Oh, it was snowing, raining, switch back to snow. We get some sleep and then the sun would be out and it was nice and then it'd start all over again. Welcome to Wisconsin. <laughs> If the water gets inside, they've stacked the remaining furniture and appliances as high as possible. Thank God for family and neighbors here, uh, friends and family. It's It's been awesome. In Grant County, Marcus Arzvold, NBC 15 News. And take a look at some of these aerial photos out of Crawford County. Emergency management personnel were able to fly over St. Farol Island. You can see the historical buildings surrounded by high water levels. Officials are asking people to avoid this area. Many roads are closed to the island. There are sandbags available as well for residents who need them and operations for sandbagging will continue on Monday.